Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we are now into the final, final chapter of this just ridiculous saga against Chelsea. Um, don't know, can we expect to win again? I don't know. Uh, very quickly, names on the team of the week, Ron Morelles. Good job for him. Uh, let's go through the team selection. Uh, we're going to drop a few players. Well, not really going to be dropping a few players. We're just going to be swapping a few players around. Um, Steven Gerrard will come in to... Uh, take the place of the cup tied Charlie Adam uh, Joe Cole um, oh I don't know I'm sick of this why, why can't I just stay on the formation screen like it always fucking should do um, should we put Paul I'm sorry but Paul Konchowski is going to have to come in for Danny Wilson uh, and Jovanovic also uh, who do you reckon we should put in Joe Cole has to be Joe Cole uh, but that looks okay to me, that team. Uh, hopefully you agree as well. Well, yeah, well you better because I'm uh, I'm not gonna change it. Uh, Lucas is gonna have to stay there. Unfortunately, he's on 91%. I may put Poulsen on the. I'm gonna put Poulsen on the bench. Uh, swap him for um, Ivanovic since he's pretty much useless on being on 86%. Might um, as well swap. Um, oh, hang on, Glenn Johnson. There we go. That's better. Fucking Chesky. That 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 should be your backline. You know, and then swap it around. Um, nah, no wonder. Let's um, let's change it to a complete forward. Maxi. Yeah, let's keep him as a winger. I will change Lucas as an anchor man. Lucas as an anchor man with them too. Very good. Sorted. Right then. So here we go. The final chapter. Um, I'm going to be doing this properly. I think we're, I can't really push me luck. Um, we've already beaten Chelsea once. I can't really push me luck. Oh, look at this. So there's no Malou there. There's no Drogba. None of that. They have Neymar. Now, I'd like to point this out a few things here. Um, Chelsea have signed Neymar. And Chelsea will, from what I have seen, will pretty much, unless obviously you take control of them, will pretty much always sign Neymar. Um and that will be at the start of the season, right at the very start. So if you want to buy a Neymar, you've got to be quick. I mean, really quick. They also signed Wagner Love. Uh, I don't know how common that is. I didn't see that anywhere else. This is this only took place on this save. Um, obviously, I have to, you have to assume Chelsea and City and all that with the huge budgets um, are going to be buying players all the time. And that's what they've done. They've, they've bought Wagner Love. Um, so they've got him up front instead of drop, but that's interesting. Uh, they also have Mavuba, whoever that is, Douglas. Ramirez do everything and Miranda Hart in uh, defence. So uh, let's get uh, let's get this going then. I'm gonna keep the hard on, uh, keep the hard tackling on just just for now. If uh, we can change it, if um, I'm gonna wish the team luck here, um, just to see what happens. I have a, I have a good feeling about this one for some reason. I don't know why. I just I, I know this goes against what I usually say, but I actually have a good team. And someone's coming off injured. Don't be Torres or Gerard. It's Morales, bugger. Uh, at least, um, fucking hell. Um, what is he? At least ninety. It's, I have to assume that isn't that isn't too bad an injury then, I suppose. Um, so Poulsen is going to have to come in. Oh, look at that, Lucas and Poulsen. I suppose I'll swap it around since Lucas. Okay, Lucas is now going to be a deep lying playmaker with support. That's no good. He's injured after five minutes. That's nice, Chelsea. Nice. You've after like. <laughs> 300 minutes of football, you've managed to suss out the players and managed to injure them. <laughs> That's marvellous. Um, right, so where are we? Chelsea are on the attack right now. Let's say we are 2-1 down. Uh, in case you can't remember from the other game, it is 2-1 to Chelsea. Um, they won at Anfield, annoyingly. Uh, but, you know, as I say, we can't can't really push your luck when uh, you've already just beaten them at Stamford Bridge, not only just a few weeks ago, uh, not even that, like a week ago, in the uh, FA Cup replay and as you I mean of course they had we gotta remember is they had a different uh, team out as well. They had like Drogba and Maluda and um I think Anelka was playing as well. Obviously no Torres since he's playing for me. But uh and Reina does well uh. So right and here is Torres now. Oh hang on, let's just jump to a back straight away. Oh wow, how has Gerard not scored there? Check was right back on the line, pushed them right back into the goal. That was a very quick highlight. That was a I thought that you know it's like match of the day, you know when there's a, you know when like th there's an effort, but it's like after th like ten seconds or something, you know it's not going to be a goal. There needs to be a bit more of a build up to it. And Lampard's free kick there goes against the wall, so it's still two one. Oh, jinx there, but nearly at thirty five minutes gone. But here's Torres now. He's one on one with Jack. He scored. It's two two. Well, level. 
and Torres does it again. So it's 1 0 on the night. We surely we can't beat Chelsea again at Stamford Bridge. Surely. Now, I, I, I talked about it ages ago when you're saying you just don't beat a team three times. I know we've got to play them on Anfield, I know, but that that is pushing it. Can we do the double? Can we do the domestic cup double over Chelsea? This, of course, um, bear in mind, they're at home. And I don't know if away rules count now. Um, we're gonna have to, we'll have to find out. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I really should have done my research. But again, we're on the attack now. Here we go. What can we do with this? Glenn Johnson. Taking it forward. Torres. Sh oh, what a strike from Torres. I do not believe it. Fernando Torres with an absolutely thunderous strike on the edge of the box. He's done it against Chelsea again, which is, as I've talked about, it's so ironic. But can you believe this? Lucas, well, that was had been a blessing in disguise, moving him in there. But look at the speed of that shot. Just hammered it in, turn, swivel, whatever you want to call it. Smashes it in the goal. Seven minutes apart. And actually, we've taken the lead in the tie. Need to calm down though because Chelsea are on the attack. <laughs> I see in there, Wagner Love. Oh, and they've brought it back. It's 3 3. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 2 1 on the night, but it's 3 3. Oh my. You remember that tie in the Champions League at Stamford Bridge where it just totally went mental? Let's have a look at this then. SEN not closing down. Reina probably should have done better there. I'm sorry. I think that'll be. Uh, the half now it should be anyway. Yep, there we go. Wow, so it's 2 1 on the night. One goal will be enough for the win they deserve, apparently. Well, well, um, 3 3. Let's check Lee's feedback. Well, I know they're being fucking outnumbered. Yeah, I think we should um, out, um, close down SCN. Where's SCN? They've got Drogba and Malud and Kalu and Ben Ayun on the bench. Ben Ayun is amazing on this, by the way. Always closed down. SCN. There you go. That's why he was allowed in because he wasn't. Thank you, Sammy Lee. You've just clocked onto it now, have you? You're stupid. Right. And Paulson, that's, I assume he took one for the team. That's 3 3. Uh, as I said, don't know. So I think that is the same scoreline in reverse as it was on Anfield. But oh, we have to, it's clocking up the time. It's clocking up. And Paulson. Heart sank down. I thought he was going off. But then Joe Cole. Can I get the ball? Nope. Miranda Hart is there to, to intercept. Paulson's going to have to be careful. He does have a bit of a bit of a thing about being sent off. I think he got sent off already. I think he's already been sent off once a season. There's Maxi. Gerard now taking advantage of the ball. Torres for a hat trick. He's done it again. Fernando Torres has a hat-trick against Chelsea. They feel as offside, I don't care. It's 4-3 on aggregate. It's 3-1 on the night. What a game this, what a tie, what a saga this is turning out to be. There's Gerrard's possession, ball move there. Torres just turns this Douglas guy, finds a bit of space, drives it low. He has a hat-trick against Chelsea. Well, only he would, would really, wouldn't it? It could be no one else other than Fernando Torres. <laughs> It's 4-3, it's 3-1. I wonder if the game might give it that sort of tenacity that, you know, the game is lost or something now. Um, we're going to take... Uh, Torres is coming forward again here. As you can see, but Alex gets him this time. Um, I think Ryan Babel needs to come off for Poulsen because we're going to swap it round. Um, Lucas is going to go here and Maxi will swap again. Well, I can grab him. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's what's going to happen because I don't want uh, Poulsen getting sent off because, you know, do I want to play Chelsea with 10 men, do you? Really? Let's be honest. Come on. <laughs> Stupid thing isn't clicking. Oh, this is nervous. So, of course, we are 10. So, as it stands currently, we are, well, once the game commences, eventually. Come on. Yep, we are 10 minutes away from Wembley. And Joe Cole, I think we're just, they're just taking it for the team now, aren't they? Here we go, Joe Cole now, he's advancing forward. Torres, as you say, with a hat-trick already to his name. He's got to square it, and he didn't hit it straight at check. Babel, if he had gambled there, he may have gone in, and that would have sealed the tie, you'd have to think. Oh, it's it's get, it's count, it's, the clock is counting down. Three minutes, pretty much two minutes there. Oh, look at this, there's 90 seconds left, and Chelsea are on the attack, it's gone to a highlight. Oh, Torres on the break now, he's got Lampard in front of him. This is where you want to be. Gonna have a shot. What are you doing? 
What on God's green earth is Fernando Torres doing there? Why is he shot? I. Oh my God! If this costs the game, all his all his hard work's gone down the drain. <laughs> it's just gone. Oh my God! Um, that has just gone right across the face of the goal. That was similar to Idiga Johnson when in the Champions League semi final in 05. And as you can see, surely this might be. This has to be. That's it. We are into the final. In Wembley, it's the first time I've ever been to New Wembley. <laughs> I know it's uh, it's only a, it's only a simulation, but who cares? You can see some of them. Most of them are knackered. Luckily, Raul Morelos, I don't think he's injured too much. But we've gone through hell, fire, and fucking everything to get to this final. As you can see, what a tie. We have beaten Chelsea again at Stamford Bridge. And we've got to the final. 4-3. What a tie. This, what a game. What a tie. What a saga. What, a, what an event. <laughs> Fuck the rest of the season. Just show this. <laughs> Perfect advertisement. Football manager. Um, so you Raul Morales about four weeks. Oh, thank God we brought Charlie Adam in. But Fernando Torres is just absolutely ridiculous. Twenty-four goals this season. He's had fifty-seven shots on target. Wow, unbelievable. And uh, it's a final piss off Vladimir Vice. Vladimir Vice? Isn't he? Oh, oh, I thought that was that kid who plays for Rangers, I was going to say. <laughs> um, name man of the match. Well, of course he is. Uh, hat trick at Chelsea there, as you can see. This is up with the way the club is performing in the league. This is why he left. <laughs> they had me in charge. We would have been top of the league. Well, we're not top of the league anymore. As you can see, we are second. And I'll explain why in a moment. Man United did, in fact, beat Everton. As we saw, they won 3 0, in fact. <laughs> And uh, I'm just letting you know here that once again, uh, Bayern Munich have once again gone in for I get they can piss off. So we'll attend the post-match conference. And uh, yeah, I'm just going through all this really here. What? None of the below. <laughs> The cent one of the central figures. Oh, of course, I mean I said it's not going to harm anything, but um, yeah, there you go. It plays down Ram Morel's injury, so I had to read that. I didn't want to read them out because I'm sure I don't want to insult your intelligence. But um, what we'll do now is find out who we are playing in the finals. So see Bjorn Henry, so of course we've been tracking for the last uh, well for the whole month really since I saw him. He's now gone to Hoffenheim, which is actually where Ryan Babel went. So, um, as you can see, there's the semi-final. It's either going to be Aston Villa or Tottenham in the final. And by the way, no, I have not at any stage backed out um, and restarted. I have not cheated at any stage um, unless we have literally just gone straight through. Uh, the only time at this season where I have backed out and um, and uh, restarted the game was when the game just went a bit stupid. When Bolton beat us 8-0. <laughs> I think I may have to, actually. I think we did it one other time when um, I had like no, no, I didn't. I no, no, that was, oh no, it was the same game. Yeah, we had two sendings off and three injuries, and they beat us eight nil. Also, so it was. I don't think it was that many, but you know, it was, it was, it was something stupid. We had like two sendings off and an injury or two injuries or something. That's the only time I've had to back up because that was just plain ludicrous. But at no point have I backed out and uh, redone it. You know, and so that we won. We have just gone this straight, um, gone straight through. So uh, let's find out who we are playing in the final. 21 games, you can see there, losing, and it's going to be Tottenham. Ooh. We could provide enough shocks, well, I suppose. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> so there you go, so Tottenham, we're playing them, and as you can see, we're playing Arsenal next. I'll just uh, continue to wait for the formal announcement that we will, we will be playing um, Tottenham in the final. So there you go, so the game will be played at Wembley on the 27th of February. That's in exactly a month from this. Um, we played each other back in 1982 with, of course, when we one obviously <laughs> uh, next game is against once again Arsenal now I know it's so much for randomization of fixtures eh it's absolutely ridiculous anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed this we are into the finals been our, that was probably our biggest performance certainly our biggest game yet what's well, yet to come now we're against Tottenham in the final hope you enjoyed it uh, hopefully you'll join me for that but 
more pressing matters on the other side of London. We've got to play Arsenal in the fourth round of the FA Cup. That's going to be at Anfield. Uh, hopefully you'll join me for that as well. I'll see you for